Hey there, this is Tapas Fleming, TATLife.com. Right now, I'd like to give you an overview of how to help ghosts move on. There are three main points to this. The first one is you need to be really present in your own body. What I mean by that is that you're experiencing life from in here. You may be experiencing energetic things too, of course, emotional things, but you're actually here. A lot of people end up with ghosts interacting with them in ways they don't like, and it's because they're not fully present in their own body. And that's really typical for people who've been abused as children because it's one of the few things a kid can do is like leave their body when something bad is happening to them that they have no other anything they can do anything about, like leave. So if you have memories of bad things that happen to you, you can think, am I remembering that from the vision from my eyes from right within what was happening or am I maybe looking down on what was happening or next to myself so if you're looking down or next to yourself and your memories of bad things that happened that's a really big hint you weren't in your body and that's just normal because there isn't much a kid can do to try and tolerate a bad situation so what you want to do Step one really is do TAT about whatever it is that happened for you so that you're not fully present in your body. We have recordings for that, or you can just do that. That's what you put in the pot. Whatever happens, I'm not fully present in my body, and you don't have to remember any of it. Okay? And then step two is having silent conversation with um the ghost. And by that I mean somebody who died and they're kind of hanging around and they're maybe confused. My experience is that there are people who die and they don't know they died. They just think, why isn't anybody talking to me or things are kind of different? What's wrong? So if you are aware that, well, you died, you're a ghost then what you can do is do the TAT pose and just say that to the person silently or out loud if you like, hey, you died and you're okay. And you can also say the first two steps of TAT to them. Everything that led up to this, meaning the condition you're in now, this confusion and you died, but you don't know quite where you are, how to make things work out for you, Anyway, everything that led up to your resonating, identifying and connecting with this, so you're saying this to them while you're in the pose, the TAT pose, everything that led up to this happened. And then you say, the second step, all that happened, it's over and you don't have to resonate, identify or connect with that anymore. And then also in the pose, you say, and making prayers and wishes that you're right now uplifted to the highest, happiest, most love-filled life possible, and that you accept all the help that's here for you in getting there. That usually does it. They go, oh, wow. And then angels or beings who have that job of escorting people from where they are, confused, they died to a next um, evolution, the next part of their life experience, they show up and help this person. Okay, and then the third thing is doing TAT on behalf of a place, because maybe this person died in, say, um, a house that you're renting. And the house itself carries impressions of this person's death. Maybe they were sick for a long time, or in some cases, a person was hurt and then they died. But the house um, carries those impressions. So I do the TAT pose and say to the house, the land, um, all the trees, the plants, the birds, 
the creatures, the insects, um, all the area above and around the house, all the energetic area and down into the earth. We just had a conversation with all of that in the TAT pose and say, um, also it's just the first couple of steps of the TAT process. Everything that led up to your resonating, identifying and connecting with this happened. All of that happened, it's over and you don't need to resonate, identify or connect with any of that anymore. And if you want, you can say something like you can now be happy, full of energy and connected with the universe or just some nice wish you have like that for the house, the land, the bugs, the birds, the trees, everything. And my experience is that usually is enough to help um, yourself be more integrated, the ghost move on and your environment be beautiful and clear and supportive. I hope this helps you out should you be in this kind of situation. Thank you for listening and see you next time.